It's Rick Brandenburg for Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll, North Carolina State University. And those of you who've watched these videos for a while know I talk a lot about the insects and weather. And two particular components of weather, one the temperature and the other amount of rainfall. And since for a lot of you watching this video right now it's winter time and it's cold, I want you to understand that when you're in an area where there are very, very cold temperatures, all insect activity stops. So that really gives you a starting point. And then as things warm up in the spring, you've got a point to go from. If it's a warm early spring, you know insects are going to occur a little bit earlier. If it's a cold uh, spring, you know they're going to occur a little bit later. And that's really important to know. But if you're in an area that's warmer and stays warm throughout much of the winter, you really don't have a starting point. And we know that in these situations with soil pests such as uh, mole crickets and white grubs, rainfall really determines when the next generation will occur because it, it promotes or encourages egg laying. So these things are important and in your location you may really have to figure out what takes place in your area. So when you apply a pesticide, look at the results you get. If it doesn't work so well, it probably means you've been off on your timing and you need to look to adjust that. If you find large mole crickets or large white grubs, it means that you should have put that treatment out probably two months earlier because three months earlier eggs were being laid for those particular insects. So you really need to know what's going on in your course, in your part of the world, or in your home lawn or sports turf. Uh, you can't really rely upon uh, information from another part of the world or from another part of the country. You've really got to know the biological events and sequences that take place where you're located. And if you can't find that information based on scientific research, you've got to figure out how you can collect some of that information yourself so you can make really good decisions. Hope that helps. Look forward to talking with you again next time. Thanks.